I hope everybody out there is doing good and great. I am doing good myself. I hope everyone is keeping y'all hands washed, sanitized, wearing y'all face masks, and basically staying out of the way. Anyway, y'all, let's get into this reaction. <laughs> we ain't no thoughty on a game. We ain't no bend it over game. We ain't no fake drum game. All right, y'all, put in the comments down below. <laughs> What y'all think about that Mami Yana game? You know what I'm saying? I know in my videos over and over again, I said it was fake. I said, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no way that these ladies can get along, period. I also said, y'all remember when they uh, did that live and Chrissy was missing and she she act as if she couldn't go live with them on when it was Liv's turn because her kids was having a birthday party and so much and so much. But if you have everything planned out and you supposed to come through and do what you supposed to do, you supposed to make it happen, right? So since it was Liv's turn, nothing fell through. And that's when everybody was going live, but they just tried to make it seem like, you know, we're mothers, you know what I'm saying? We have things going on. Hmm. Let the truth come to the light. Let the truth be told. Let it all come to the light. You know what I'm saying? And I always say, y'all, you can only be fake for so long. You know what I'm saying? You can't hold that shit here. When your heart feels once some type of way, you can't continue to hold that shit in. You gotta let it go and release. So now everybody is going at each other. The only person I don't hear from is Jazz. She's kind of quiet. You know what I'm saying? But everybody want to go live at the same time trying to explain their side and what's what. And I'm just going to grab some things that I got from each one. Okay? First of all, <laughs> when I first started hearing and seeing, I said, oh... All of a sudden, now Liv want to come out and she want to bring it to YouTube and she want to express what's going on and she want to say why she's not in the group uh, or not the group that gang anymore, the reasons why she want to bring it to YouTube. So the first thing I thought was, oh, okay, Chrissy has all this stuff on her right now that's going on. So Liv needs something, you know what I'm saying? So now, you know what I'm saying? She been on IG throwing out little messages, you know what I'm saying? Real green eyes, real hair, you know what I'm saying? I got the lengths <laughs> and my edges. Woo, child. So she finally wants to come to YouTube, but she say, you know, <laughs> she want to only explain but not really give like who she cool with, what's what. So you got to read between the lines and read what she's saying to kind of understand and get it. So basic, she is calling um, Chrissy and Ming a snake. They fake. But at the same time, Jazz is good. Jazz and me is cool. But at the end of the day, she turned around and she blocked Jazz. Hmm. Is that because her and Chrissy is friends? Maybe so. So... She came on live, y'all, and she was just trying to explain. But it's like, why are you going to get on a live and you really ain't going to tell the, tr the, 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 the true story of what's really going on? You're just going to continue to say, well, they fake. I don't like fake people. I don't like fake people. But okay, we understand you don't like fake, pe fake people, but you're fake as well. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's called that fake mommy on a game. Everyone in there is fake, Okay. It's crazy how y'all try to come together and play this alone, but people can actually see through it. There's no way that two people who actually bumped heads and don't like each other can come together. But you always had Chrissy say, I always told her, you know what I'm saying? We could just 
come together and make this money together. It's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Y'all came together, but y'all wasn't cool, but y'all want to get on here to the people and express, you know, <laughs> black women coming together. We just trying, girl, boo, boo, boo. Don't nobody want to hear that. Let's be for real here, okay? So, basically, there was a falling out because it wasn't agreement. They felt things was unfair and just... Y'all know how, you know what I'm saying, trying to do a ladies game group. How, it's not going to work, okay? But my thing of it is, why was certain ones keeping recordings and keeping screenshots? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? If y'all was coming together, evidently, head on, y'all felt something wasn't wrong. Something wasn't right, so you felt like, oh, okay, we're going to keep this just in case. So, Liv got on here and was basically saying Chrissy and Ming, how they are snakes and was doing everything for a click and a view, making up skits, fake storylines, just what we say on the daily, how they lie, how they make up shit. She just telling it, Okay. So Chrissy comes back and trying to explain like what happened, what's what, da da da, and you know basically it started with the lash line and just everything that we were saying. You know, yes, it was competition there, but she said she's okay with the competition because you know you know how she is. She feels like she's that bitch. So. <laughs> After she went live, then Liv came live, okay? So she felt like now they they want to talk and air shit out. I'm not going to let nobody say nothing. I'm going to just throw it all out there. What do you want to know, okay? So she's throwing, going way back to this Houston trip, okay? Talking about the Houston trip, talking about Chrissy and her evictions, talking about how Chrissy, you know what I'm saying? Chrissy did say it too. <laughs> how she went to live, and I, I I don't see it. There's no way. If I if I beef with somebody and I know that we trying to come together to make something happen, but I know in my heart I really ain't cool with you. You know what I'm saying? Or you might not be cool with me, but we playing like we sisters. That's what I'm going to say because there's no way y'all could be sisters or none of that. So she was going around asking the ladies for $50. She said once she moved into the house that she was at, she really needed $50. $50. How did you need it? You make all this money, this, this. You're that bitch. How's you going to somebody? Oh, anyway, y'all. So she went to live life for $50. Okay, $50. Ain't no way. Liv wound up giving her the $50 and she was saying that she's going to give Liv the money back once she get her stimulus check or however. So Liv gave it to her and Liv started coming back to say that Chrissy did not give her her money back. So that was another problem. How she was telling Chrissy, like, you know what I'm saying? We might be cool, but you ain't my family. You know, I need my money. So Chrissy wound up giving her the money back. <laughs> so she's basically dragging her because of that. And Chrissy even said, yeah, I asked her for $50. If I didn't really need it, I wouldn't be asking for nothing. I just don't see how you could be going around asking Asking them for money in the first place. I understand you really needed it, but you never know how that might backfire. You know what I'm saying? So basically, Liv just got on here and she was airing out a lot of things. You know, it's all in confirmation. It was all in due time. You know what I'm saying? Going to Houston. You know what I'm saying? These ladies going on a trip. You know, sniffing the white. Yeah, sniffing the white. You know what I'm saying? Who? <sighs> Drug free, okay? Drug free. Sniffing the white, popping pills, just doing the random. You know what I'm saying? How Chrissy was, you know, messing around with random guys, not knowing them. Liv trying to say they look like bums. And she still took them back to the Airbnb and she smashed okay now that that brings a lot of confirmation to what's going on now we know what she's used to you know what i'm saying that's why everything is out now it's coming out because this is what she used to and Liv also saying how she has seven baby daddies and she not with now one of her baby daddies you know what i'm saying at least i'm in my home and i can pay my rent and my husband just a whole bunch of what the what the you know what i'm saying like what the hell um 
Then coming back, she was saying how she would 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 give her kids the melatonin before going out on a date with a guy or bringing a guy home just so her kids would be asleep and she can go do what she do. She said she don't need no receipts. This is off the top of the dome. Also talking about how they pop plan B's just like Tic Tacs. Don't that tell you a lot about that? We ain't no thoughts on the game. Just a whole lot of things going on and how talking about the meet and greet, how the meet and greet was trash and she didn't want to be a part of the trash. Just hmm. But Liv also got on here and was talking about Chrissy meeting a guy on POF and I would never meet a guy on POF and bring him to my house with my babies. Just on and on and on. Okay. I don't watch Mingling, dingling, ling. But uh, <laughs> she was going live too, so I had to crash over to see, like, what the hell is she saying? So she came with a lot of receipts and a lot of text messages, y'all. And it was sad because looking at all these ladies, I'm going to include all of them. The only person I wasn't hearing shit about was Jazz. But the rest of them, I want to call them, they trash, okay? No standards, no no self self worth, no just they don't care. You know they so they so hungry for the Angus, okay. And if y'all know what Angus is, put two and two together. Everybody wants the Angus. They don't care how the Angus is, if it's well done, if it's not done, if it's half cooked. Everybody want it. So she came with the screenshots. In the receipts of Live Life. And I just told y'all in my video, y'all, when I told y'all about Live Life and her supposed to be having a surgery and how I feel like she's going to have this surgery. And then after she has this surgery, she is going to try to leave Gerard. Okay. So Mingling Dingling came with the uh, text message Live Life put in there saying how she's going to leave Gerard after this surgery and just everything that... That, that we was thinking, y'all. She confirmed it. She planned to leave him and just act like she couldn't stand him. She also showed that Live Life had a POF account as well and was trying to talk to guys on POF while she married. Damn. Didn't I always say nothing good will come to you or nothing good in your marriage will come when you take your marriage for a joke? You know what I'm saying? And when we go back to talk about that Maurice guy that she met in Houston, y'all, how about she messed around with him and let him do the do while she married, okay? While she is married. So these ladies out here sleeping with random men, they are <laughs> sniffing white, popping pills, giving their kids Sleeping medicine so they can go to sleep so they can get the Angus. Yes, the Angus beef, y'all. It's a sad story. Also, Liv was also talking about how they do fake shit for views and clicks and how they try to scam their subscribers. Wow. Did you come a part of the Mamiana game to see what was going on and actually come back and do what you're doing now? Because I think it's all about who got the most views, who got the most clicks. It's all about trying to outshine the next person. You get what I'm saying? Because basically, basically all you hearing, hearing here is I got more, more numbers than you. I got more this than you. You know what I'm saying? How can you form a group or a gang and y'all so worried about the next one. You get what I'm saying? And I don't understand how Liv could get on here and talk about Chrissy being on POF and how gross that is talking to random men off of POF and bringing them to her house and messing with them. But guess what, girl? You was doing the same thing. She has proof that you was doing the same thing while you are married. Okay. Why you married? So you plan with your marriage. You went to Houston to go mess around and sleep with a guy. You know what I'm saying? 
And why you was taking that pregnancy test is because you actually thought you was pregnant by him. Hmm. Do Gerard know that? I'm just saying, y'all. It's crazy. It's crazy how they can get on here and they try to, you know, speak advice or, or, or tell you something. And at the end of the day, each one of them is fake. Each one of them is fake and each one of them has some, they own issues and they own problems. You know what I'm saying? And Liv come back and also now she's talking about the mommy on the masses. That's some BS. How they gonna charge their subscribers to teach them what's free on YouTube? I had already said there is no way that this game would work, period. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody is big headed. Everybody want to be on the top. Everybody feel like, you know, they the shit. And it's just not going to work. But now, watch it unfold on these YouTube streets. Chrissy tried to come on here, which I felt like that day when she addressed it in the bathroom and said, oh, we're not compatible. We're not friends. Okay. If y'all not friends, just say you're not friends. But the way that they go on about it, y'all could have called each other up and said, hey, you know what I'm saying? We just going to do our own thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. I'm not in it. I don't want to do it. I'm done with it. And let it go. Y'all bringing all this rah-rah right on back. Right on back. And each one say they don't, they don't want to put it on YouTube. They don't. Yeah, yeah. Y'all need them views up. Y'all need it up. But it's sad because y'all don't have shit going for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You married, but you still doing things like you are single. You got Chrissy. She messed with random guys in the same night. She just met him and she, she messed around with him. Don't even know him. You know what I'm saying? She talked about how she met this guy in Houston. He had no car. He looked like a bum. And Chrissy pulled him on in and did what she did. You know what I'm saying? She also talked about how Chrissy sent her mess messages about, you know, this guy just left. Or oh, I messed around with him and I messed around with him. But then it backfires because now Liv is saying that's why she got seven baby daddies. And <laughs> she ain't with now one of them. That shows you what type of female she is. Woo. I'm just, you know, I knew it was coming, y'all. So y'all put y'all comments down below. Tell me what you think. You know what I'm saying? Tell me how you feel, what you thought about it. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's real. They back with the drama. I don't know how Jazz going to jump in this one because I don't hear nobody talking about you. <laughs> but <laughs> how you going to jump in this one and who you going to defend on this? I'm just saying. Because, yeah, it's getting real messy, y'all. I was just sitting back in the cut going from live to live. I told y'all while y'all sleeping, I be creeping. Okay. But it said, y'all, if y'all giving y'all kids melatonin just so you can have a good time with a guy, come on, y'all got to be better than that. That ain't really worth it. And she also said how Chrissy probably drugged her kids again. She called it drug, y'all. I wouldn't say drug. I would just say, you know what I'm saying, gave them some relaxing medicine, however, so she can go off and have fun with Ming and her kids was home alone. Whew. What is done in the dark will finally come to the light. You sniffing white, you popping pills. But at the end of the day, y'all say, I am a good mom. I do this. No, look like everybody is trying to get a get a get a taste of that Angus beef from somebody. It doesn't matter who you are, you know what I'm saying? Or what you look like, long as you can, you know what I'm saying? Give me the hookup and fix me so I'm straight. That's all I need. Anyways, y'all, if y'all like this video, let's go ahead and thumbs up. Thumb. And if y'all have not, I ask that y'all do subscribe. Cause it's la la. Peace.